What's up guys, Hong OG Fitness. Look what I got here. So <clears throat> this is a skipping rope. I got a yellow because, not because it's my favorite color and not because I'm Asian, uh, simply because it was cheaper. And uh, it's kind of nice, you know? It's uh, It makes you think of Bruce Lee, right? With the uh, yellow jumpsuit and all that. So anyways, uh, I'm gonna take this for a run. Now the reason, or well, for a run, I mean I'm gonna use it, right? Uh, the reason why I'm going to drag it with me when I go out is because when I go out and walk my dog, right, what happens is that, uh, well, you know, he stops a lot and sniffs or, you know, he, if he grabs a branch, sometimes he'll want to sit down and chew on it. So while he's doing that, I had this, I could skip. Now, skipping is a great tool, right, a great thing to do. One thing is footwork, right? Gets you, gets you more agile, it works on your calf muscles. So if your calf muscles are stronger, have more endurance, generally speaking, they're already strong and have endurance, right? Because you're always on your, uh, on your two feet walking and standing and all that and running. So I mean, they're, they're very endurant already, but you wanna make them even more endurant. You wanna get them fighting endurance, so to speak, right? So it helps a lot if you skip. And also when you skip up and down, I mean, if you guys try it, like wow, cardio wise, you know, whew, uh, with the coordination that it demands and all that and also at the same time what it does is that um, What well, makes you more happy, right? It releases endorphins pretty relatively quickly. You guys ever heard of uh, uh, People who, who have a trampoline and they jump up and down it's been proven that when you jump up and down like that it does something right and uh, It makes you it makes you happier it releases uh, the happy chemicals in your brain the endorphins so you could do the same thing by um, uh, by running too, right? It takes a little bit more time I find running, right? But if you jump up and down, like it activates it more. I don't know the science behind it, but uh, it does. Like try to jump up and down. Like next time you guys are feeling down and out, like a little bit tired, a little bit foggy, don't just try to like, oh, you know, it'll pass. Cause I, that's what I used to do. I'm like, okay, well it'll pass. It's just one of those things, you know? And then uh, then go about your day and then, oh, you know, like you gotta control your state. So one way to control your mood right when you're in a better mood you make better decisions uh you know you're more uh you're more productive right so which is good and and uh one of the one an easy thing to do and and try this just if you have a skipping rope fine but if you don't just jump up and down and do some or do some burpees or half burpees or whatever quarter burpees you know if you don't want to be uh if it's it, if it just feels too much of a task but or you have, you have a jump, jumping rope, you could skip rope, or you could just jump up and down, like on your, uh, as if you had a skipping rope, except you don't, right? So you jump up and down for a few minutes, you're gonna see like it changes your mood, it changes your, uh, psycholo uh, your psychology, your physiology and all that, and, and you know, and it's, it's a great warm up too. So, and I got these speed, uh, what do you call it? Um, speed uh, skipping rope, right? So you see right here, uh, yeah, you guys can see it. Watch, it turns right it's not fixed so that way you can do more tricks with it uh this is what boxers use a lot you know da, 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 da. so they could you know uh do uh you know double unders crossover side swing it like this like that like that like i'm actually not too bad but i mean i'm definitely planning on getting better also if it's raining outside right well you know you don't always want to feel uh like getting all dressed up and going outside for a run you know and uh, it's raining, so I mean, some people do it, some people don't. But let's say on the days that you don't, well, you still want to get your cardio. Cardio, you got to do every day, right? So in my opinion, I'm not saying that you have to run a lot every day, but you got to do some cardio every day. It's good for your heart. It's good for your 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 mood too. You feel better, right? More productive. Anytime you're feeling a little bit low energy, down for whatever reason, like uh, if it's not uh, related to lack of sleep, like if you need sleep, you should just sleep. Really, take a nap, right? But if it's not that right cardio like run up some stairs do some burpees right jog and i'm holding this up because i i just got this but you can skip some rope trust me then you'll feel better then you go about your day and you can do that every single day and it's a great habit instead of uh, uh doing other shit like uh smoking or uh drinking or uh, you know taking some kind of drug or taking drugs you know i mean you could just manipulate, and this is going to be healthy for you. You could just manipulate your body by, you know, exercising and doing cardio. You'll feel better. Even get a pump, you know, get, uh, have some dumbbells around. Uh, you know, me, I have Kano here, so I just like wail on him, you know. Uh, well, I don't wail him on. I haven't brought him out lately, right, since the last time, because uh, 
busted up my back. Uh, well, actually, I hurt. I kind of did something to my back because I didn't warm up the first time around. But then what happened was that I, I jogged too much, right? And then that started, my back started acting up, my knees a little bit too. But um, I came to realize that during this quarantine, I've been sitting down a lot, a lot. So that messes you up. It really does. Uh, Posture-wise, it shortens the muscles in the front of your body, and that has some serious, serious implications to your posture, to your back, uh, and so on. So now I'm sitting much, much less. I actually have a standing desk, but I kind of, you know, we all kind of get complacent sometimes. So that's why. Listen, if you have back issues, try sitting less. As like, like if you're gonna read, lie down, right? If you're gonna watch TV, lie down to the side. Right? Don't stay like don't don't just like lie down and ha be like this because then your posture is rounded, having your back slightly onto something, but really lie down to the side like that and rotate sides. You know, stand up, and um, yeah, you'll see it's much better. Like when I read, sometimes I just lie on the st on my stomach on the bed and then I read, and then of course my head will be a little bit too much like this. So then I'll go to the edge and then I'll be more I'll be just holding my phone here and reading. Okay, but sitting down is, is the enemy. Is really the enemy. So that's my suggestion. If you have back issues, get the hell up. Like don't don't sit, don't sit. Okay. And of course, there's a lot of things to it, and that's why I really recommend uh, the Supple Leopard by Kelly Starrett. Right. Um, he has a PhD in physiotherapy. Right. And uh, he he fixed up uh, George Saint Pierre too. Uh, when uh, George St. Pierre uh, was having issues with his knees, he was valgusing a lot. Valgusing is when your knees cave in, words, which is not good, by the way. And of course, he had uh, ACL surgery. And then, of course, uh, um, uh, Kelly Starrett helped him out with that. Faraz actually uh, talks about this a lot. He's the one who found Kelly Starrett, right? And uh, brought George to see him because he read his book and he fixed his own issues with his knees and stuff like that. So understanding how to move your body properly, it's going gonna, it's gonna to help tremendously. So if you have back issues, like there's not a million reasons, man. Um, it's your posture. And it starts with, well, first of all, if you sit too much. And of course, there's a whole bunch of other stuff that, 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 uh, uh, that goes into it, right? Mid-line stabilization, you know, like having your feet straight and all that. Being able to have a... a, um, a um, a neutral spine, have a contraction, 20%, blah, 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 a bunch of stuff, but it's really worth reading. It's, uh, it'll save you a lot of, uh, um, a lot of time, a lot of issues. Well, yeah, in the end, you know, listen, if you don't have time to exercise, then make time for disease. If you don't have time for maintenance, make time for, you know, uh, spending your time subpar handicapped and having all kinds of mobility issues. And it's not because you're getting old. Yes, it's wear and tear to a certain extent, but uh, it's mostly because we do things wrong for consistently for a long periods of time and we mess ourselves up, okay? So uh, what was I getting back to? Yeah, that's it, man. It was just my little uh, rant video here. Um, not rant video, sorry, but I just want to show you guys what I'm doing. So I'm gonna jump out now for a walk. I'm gonna go walk the dog. And I'm gonna fix this up because I gotta screw this in, right? I'll put the link down below uh, for you guys if you guys wanna buy this. But you see, uh, if you buy one though, like there are like some people buy ones with really heavy handles so they could like kind of do their shoulders at the same time. Ah, whatever. No, I just, I just wanna, you know, when I do resistance, I do resistance. When I skip and I do cardio and footwork, cardio and footwork. All right, guys. Peace. Have a good Saturday. Have a good weekend. Uh, things are opening up, by the way, here in Montreal, meaning that now they're letting us assemble outside. 10 people maximum, three families uh, total. I don't think that's going to be respected. Uh, you know, when they, when they say three families that are close, right? Now, most likely, you know, friends are going to like meet up again. Of course, they'll keep a little distance, but it'll be gatherings of 10. The weather's getting nice here. And um, yeah, man, so you guys have a good one. Be safe, be strong. Listen, we're all going to catch this virus at one point, right? So if you can avoid it, fine. But uh, the best way is to make sure that you're able to survive when this happens. So if you're not already in, if you're in shape, stay in shape. If you're not in shape, get into shape and stay away from people. So, until, you know, until you're in shape. And of course, I hopefully they find a vaccine. But listen, man. That kind of shit is out of our control. We don't know when they're gonna find one, man. They're talking about a year and a half, three years, man. You know, so like, 
the, your best bet is really to, 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 to wash your hands, do all the stuff you're supposed to do, right? But really, you got to stay uh, fit, right? You got to be in shape. You got to be strong. So a big part of that, well, is, uh, you know, don't get fat, all right? Get, get fit. Like, lose all the fat. Work on your cardio. Work on your nutrition, right? And uh, definitely sleep, man. Sleep, sleep is a big thing. If you don't sleep enough, everything else suffers. Everything else suffers, right? So, anyways, I'll make other videos on that. But uh, stay safe, have fun, guys, and uh, yeah, get yourself a skipping rope, okay? Use the link below so I can make some money off of it too. All right, peace.